All right, so a quick video. If you've got a Delta pull-down kitchen faucet, this is one that's got the shield spray system in it. <laughs> but if you've got one of these that's dirty and it's all gross and mucked up, quick video on how to get it cleaned up, how to take this off, get it cleaned up, and a couple tips along the way. Also, the other thing I wanted to show you was how to take out the aerator. So this, uh, this small piece up here is the aerator. I've seen a lot of people online asking, you know, how do you take this off? How do you clean this? Where is it located? Um, on this particular model, it's pretty, pretty easy, but uh, I'll walk through that too. Okay. All right. So what I want to show you how to do is how to, how to unscrew the faucet head. So I want to make sure I get a good video of it, but you can see on this version, there is a, in fact, let me get a, let me get a light here. Hold on button there is what you're going to have to kind of depress with your finger in order to unscrew it See in there you got a good view of it I think depress it here and then once you depress it down you can make sure there's nothing on the other side right yeah it's just one so you press it in and then you lefty loosey and there you go. You could hear it kind of pop there. And then you can see it turns independently of this and of this. So, so there you go. Easy. Unscrew. And you're out. Get it cleaned out. So what I'm doing right now is I'm soaking it in um, vinegar. So I'm just using um, white distilled vinegar. And I'm going to do it for 20 to 30 minutes. And the idea of the vinegar is it's supposed to kind of break up some of this calcification and this hard gunk uh, that's stuck on the bottom here. It's coming. It's been in there for 25 minutes. Yeah, it is getting, it is getting better. Now there's still some... There's still some pretty hard deposits on here. All right, so I'm gonna soak a little bit more and then I'm gonna continue to clean this off, try to get more of this debris up, but it is looking better. And this is just, just using distilled vinegar, distilled vinegar solution. Yeah, you can see a bunch of sediment in the bottom of it, discoloration even, wow. All right, cool, it's working. All right, so let's see how we're looking now. Oh yeah, it's looking better. I'm gonna try just a toothbrush this time. Lightly get after it. It is a lot better. It is a stubborn calcium stuff though. And that is, look at that. You gotta really scrape some of that off. But it's coming. It's coming off of there. See that? I wanted to show you too here is, luckily I've got it and I don't know if this, if this came with the uh, faucet or if this is kind of an aftermarket version of this. So, you can see that the aerator here has got these little grooves going around the outside of it and they're going to match up with the teeth in the wrench. So what you're going to do, put your wrench in, make sure you've got it within those grooves and it is, and then just turn it counterclockwise, lefty loosey, right? Lefty loosey, oops, slipped out. Okay, and I'm going to take this sucker out and see what it looks like. It's coming. It is coming. Just about out. I think. There we go. Almost gotcha. I can really see this here. Kind of want to take it out while I'm still cleaning it. 
There we go, it's coming. Okay. That's it. That's the aerator. And um, I'm trying to see. It doesn't look terribly disgusting here, does it? Not that bad. Doesn't look that bad. I'll take a picture of it too with my phone here so we can look closer at it. All right, so I am going to just go ahead and look carefully. Use the toothbrush. I mean, really, this is what I was doing on the outside anyway. You want to get this screen on the back. And I just looked at it really closely. I'm not seeing a lot of um, dirt and debris in there. So it looks pretty good. I'm just going to gently put it back in. Okay, we're just going to drop it in there, and then we're going to use our key or the wrench. And there we go. Okay. And turn it in, turn it in. Okay, it's tightening. And that's it. You don't want to over-tighten this thing. It's just plastic. So as soon as you start to feel that resistance on it, that's it. It's tight. Okay, so then the next piece is going to be putting it back onto here. Uh, this is, is pretty straightforward again, same type of thing. Just going to carefully screw this piece on. Okay, I'm going to screw it down. And there's a little snappy piece here that you have to press and release to, to unscrew it. But to screw it on, that's it. We're on. So, now my question is, how is this thing going to work? And here we go. We're back in business. So here I've got my regular flow. Here I've got kind of this dual flow. And here I have their patented flow. Yeah, it's so weird. Alright, so that easy, and, and I did double check inside, on this model at least, <laughs> you do not have, <laughs> yeah. and it just went down, <laughs> oh, and it just went down, and I didn't, I did not have a knot in it, and, uh, <laughs> Yeah. All right. So uh, right there, that's why that's why you put a knot <laughs> into your uh, faucet <laughs> because that thing just. Let me see if I can get that again. <laughs> that thing just zip just zipped right down there uh, on on this one. <laughs> fell right down underneath the sink so uh <laughs> all right all right it's all good so let me uh let me get that <laughs> let me get that fed back up here uh, that was absolutely classic so let's see if i can find it okay there it is and okay all right i've got it I'm pushing it up, and of course there's a weight down here, and there it is. Okay, I can see it. Oh, I got it. <laughs> oh, man alive. That was great. Um, so that's not that hard to recover, but you can see down here, you know, what pulls your faucet back in is... Um, there's just a little weight around the bottom of it. And so that weight is when you let go of this thing, whoop, it just sucked it right down. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, just a couple tips here. So, you know, one tip is to tie a knot so you don't lose your hose as it 
gets pulled back down your uh, <laughs> pulled back down your sink. So 